What is up everyone? My name is Michael Pohl with Bay Area Aquatics and today we're going to be talking about sponges. All right, so this is a sponge, a sheet of sponge actually that I got off of Amazon for I think it was $15, $15, $16, something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link down in the description below um, in case you're interested in it. But it's a 30 ppm sponge. So it's a fairly coarse sponge. It's not the most coarse out there. Um, I think Aquarium Co-op makes a 15 ppm one. Um, and I've seen sheets of 20 ppm, but this is super common and pretty cheap. And the thing I love about this is how cheap it is for how versatile it is. Um, I use this for a lot. I use this for intake sponges and this one's already been cut up a little bit. So it's not quite, it's usually a little bit bigger than this. I cut probably two or three inches off of this end. Um, they make them in different sizes. The thing I love about this is how versatile it is. Um, I mainly use these for my intakes and for my sponge filters. And so I really like the dual sponge style sponge filters, but I hate the sponges that come on them. They're very, very fine sponges. They clog up easy, they're hard to clean, um, and they just don't do the best job of like properly sponging the thing. Um, so this is a fairly coarse sponge. And so what I actually do is I actually use it to uh, replace the sponges on those. Um, like I said, I use these for my intake filters. Um, if you've got aqua clears, you can use this for like the sponge instead of buying the aqua clear sponges a little bit cheaper. The aqua clear sponges are somewhere between 20 and 30 PPI. So this is a little on the you know finer side, but not much to make a huge difference. But one of my absolute favorite uses for this is optimizing cartridge filters. And I might, I just realized I'm blowing wind whenever I turn this on the uh, microphone. I don't know how well it's picking that up. But uh, optimizing cartridge filters. So if someone I know is setting up a tank, I can go ahead and throw a chunk of this into my filter, let it sit there for a couple weeks and kind of seed good bacteria onto it. And I can give it to them to help them jumpstart their tank. Um, or if I've already got some in my filter, I can pull it out, cut it to their size, and then just replace what I've got in there. I've got enough other biological stuff in there. And you can cut it, it's two inches thick, so you can either leave it two inches thick or you can cut it down to like an inch or whatever. And I know a lot of people, especially like teachers and schools and stuff, they want that cartridge still. They don't want to do like an aqua clear. They don't want to do anything like that. They want a cartridge filter. That's what they know. That's what they're comfortable with. That's what they've used in the past. Whatever it may be, they want to use the cartridge filter. The problem with the cartridges is whenever you change the cartridge filter, you restart the cycle. Um, some of like the Aquion filters have a little tiny piece of sponge on the outtake and that kind of helps mitigate that. But depending on what they're stocking it with, which most school tanks that I know of tend to be overstocked, but you know, it just kind of helps prevent what they do. And uh, it, can help, it can optimize with a cartridge and still let them use a cartridge. So what you can do is you can actually cut this down to like an inch or depending on how big the filter is, leave it at the two inches and you can just slide it right in behind the cartridge. And bam, now they've got a sponge in there. They've got beneficial bacteria to jumpstart the cycle. They've got, you know, something that's not going to be tossed and disposable, but then they still have their fine polishing from the polyfill that is made up of the cartridge. So this is just a great little piece of sponge just to have in the closet. It folds up. It, it comes shipped to me like this. So it's pretty, pretty decent. I just throw it on the shelf and uh, it's nice to just have like you can make sponge filters out of this. You can do all sorts of things with it. And so it's just a nice just all purpose, you know, crap hits the fan, I need something type of sponge, just filter maintenance. You could cut this to size for like a, a cartridge filter or a, what am I looking for? Canister filter, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, you can cut this to size to replace things in canister filters and like I said, just help people out. So that's all I have for the video today. I don't want to drag it on too long. Uh, let me know, do you guys use sheets of sponges like that? Do you just go ahead and buy the, uh, the other, you can buy, like I said, filter sponges or intake sponges and stuff that are pre-made. You can buy sponge filters that, you know, let me know if you use the sheets of sponge. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Um, if you have, you can use them in things like sumps and stuff too. That's one thing I forgot to mention. Um, you can use them in all sorts of different filter projects and that. So let me know if you use it down in the comments below. I always love seeing the discussion down there. If you're new here, be sure to hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.